Hello my loves, welcome back to Zeke's Lunchbox. Today we're gonna do a study sessions episode. I'm excited to like really hone in on this topic today. I've been feeling a little bit worn down with art lately, mostly because I've been taking a lot of like design work and commission stuff and as great as all of that stuff is, I feel like I don't get enough time to work on my own stuff, except for the tarot card project of course. Yeah, so I just feel like I needed to reconnect with my art again and just like draw for the sake of drawing. I've moved some stuff around in my studio. A little exciting news, this piece over here has been turned into a tattoo by a lovely girl who asked me if she could get a tattoo of my work and of course I said yes. So thank you so much Sarah if you are watching us, Sarah or Sarah, I'm not sure. It looks incredible, thank you so much for asking me to get the tattoo. You can also check out the tattoo artist Jade Lomax who is based in Newcastle, Australia and I'm just so so chuffed on it. I posted it on uh, Instagram stories and also on Facebook so if you guys want to follow me over there to check out everything in between uploads go do that. If you guys are keen to get my work tattooed I am more than happy to chat to you about that and yeah hopefully some more tattoos of my art are to come. It's crazy to think that people like my artwork that much that they want to get it tattooed on them so <sighs> it really really makes my day. It's yeah incredible amazing all right let's head into the sketchbook and do some face studies it's gonna be a good one all right so let's open up my sketchbook what we're doing today is I really just want to draw some faces. Faces are kind of like my comfort zone but what I've been wanting to do for a while is to do lots of faces with like different colored gel lights on them because I just feel like color study would be really interesting. Get my Rembrandt on but the more like psychotropic disco version of that. So I did already select a couple of illustrations. I've made a album called Faces and Lighting. Now, my plan is to kind of just draw as much as I can. I do want to cover like a whole spread in my sketchbook, but uh, I've yet to do that in a study sessions episode, so we shall see. What should I do first? You know, profiles used to be really intimidating to me, but I feel like now I've got a sweet spot with them now. So I'm going to start off with this one and let me grab my paint brushes. Now I've been wanting to do color studies on the face for quite some time just because I feel like it gets really beautiful little curves of the face. You get this like really nice halo around the hair. I'm just gonna try and mimic the photos as much as possible. I'm just gonna go anywhere on the page. And drawing with a brush straight off the bat, it does like really, really help. It doesn't restrict you with just like one line. It really helps with just like <laughs> blobbing it out. Once you see the blobs down, you can kind of see where things need to be placed a little bit more specifically. I find an artist who's really good at capturing light is Loish. Um, I think that's how you pronounce her name. There's like some real movement and energy in her work and I feel like for quite some time I've been very like tight and rigid with my work and I want to try and loosen up quite a lot. That's really my main goal with this is to get like loosey goosey. I need to be quiet for a little bit so I can concentrate. shall we do next? Let's just, uh, let's do this gal over here. There's something that's very like horror, like very classic horror about it that I quite enjoy. Like it really reminds me of like old movie posters with like that really dramatic like bottom lighting. I do want to scale this one up. I need a bigger brush. We're gonna need a bigger brush. I just got this brush actually and this is the first time using it. Oh, that's exciting. So far I'm not really excited about where this is going, but 
that's kind of how a lot of my early pieces start. You kind of just have to push through the like ugh stage. Let's officially call it the ugh stage, all right? All right. It's looking pretty rough right now. <laughs> I'm going to move on to uh, this girl over here. I think I'm gonna bring the tape out just cause these two are drying and I can't go in with the pen unless it's like completely dry. Now it's probably gonna be a little bit difficult with this like weird crease in the middle. I am gonna try a different technique with this one where I just lay down some pen. So let's just start off with the yellows and then work our way to the dark, darker tones. I haven't drawn in my sketchbook for quite a long time. And I remember the last time I did this, it did look really, really bad for quite some time until like I fixed it with like pencils and all of that stuff. The red that's used is like quite pink. So that would be great because I can just like lay down this stuff first and then like go in with the gouache. When I draw profiles, I really like to start with the nose. I feel like the nose is a really good anchor and you can kind of like tell how far the eyes and the mouth and chin should be when you, when you start with the nose. All right, let's get the acrylics out because I need to fix some stuff. I found that all of the acrylic paint did really help in trying to like cover a lot of the mistakes and all of the overlapping and where like different colored lights came in was really essential. I went with the acrylics in the end just because it was easier to cover up mistakes but also I just have a wider range of colors with my acrylic paints so yeah I think I really just need to like invest in my watercolor and gouache paint get a wider variety of colors. I think my favorite one is still the very first one that I did. I just feel like the haze around it is really strong. Blue green face with little splashes of pink. Yeah, I just, I think it's one of the stronger ones. I do like how <laughs> this girl here kind of came out like, like really slimy looking. Yeah, I like how all of them have a very like loose vibe, although it's taken me a couple of hours to work on these. I feel like I achieved my goal in not making everything really tight 
and kind of like focusing on little areas to make them like really tight and structured and then other areas making them a little bit more loose and not being too perfectionist y about it. As you can see here, I did this little sketch off screen. I just had a little bit of problems getting the eyes correct with this girl over here. I find with up angles, I do have a bit of problem getting the eye positioning just right. So especially because there's like a really strong harsh line in the middle of her face, it was a little bit tricky for me to wrap my mind around that. So I just needed to do a little sketch to just get the positioning just right. I feel like all three of them look really good together. Um, yeah, and I'm excited to, you know, fill out the rest of the page at some stage down the track. All right, my loves. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys decide to do something similar, you know, do some like light studies and face studies or any studies whatsoever, I'd love to see them on Instagram because you guys make my day over there. That concludes our study sessions episode for today. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe. In between uploads, you can catch me on Facebook and Instagram. If you want to support the channel and my art, you can always head over to zekeslunchbox.com and get yourself some Zeke merch. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye! <laughs>